Data360 is designed to guide users with a top-down, bottom-up, or middle-out approach to driving business results with data. For strategic initiatives, we can start from the top-down by understanding the critical data that is used to support key business objectives, metrics, and goals. For bottom-up initiatives, we can search and explore the data catalog to understand how information is related to reporting dashboards, processes, and analytics. Or we can deliver business outcomes from the middle out by developing governance operating models, policies, data citizen communities, and rules that are used to deliver business results. This methodology allows teams to collaborate and quickly deliver value using methods that are most suitable to serve the business need. I'm going to start by giving an example of a top-down approach that a governance leader might take to identifying critical data needed to support the business objective. Let's say that my company is interested in increasing our sales pipeline, and we are pushing a new marketing campaign around a new product. How can I know what data is important to govern within the context of this campaign? And how can Data360 help me activate certain governance operational processes that will help me accomplish my objective? I'm going to start by finding the objective that I want to help my team accomplish, which is increasing the conversion rate of our marketing campaign. I can see metadata that has been discovered and related to this particular business objective by Data360, such as its relationship to the business goal, a description and owner of the objective, and also relationships to other KPIs or metrics and business processes. Using the impact analysis tool, I can start to drill down and understand how these metrics are also related to data assets that might exist within my organization. In this case, I see that I have four different business assets that are related to driving trust around this particular KPI. If I come back to my objective screen, I can drill into the metric and in reviewing this metric, Data360 has calculated a governance readiness score, which shows me how ready the metric is to support our business goal. Data360 actively calculates scores for data assets across the platform based on metadata that is discovered or known about the asset, including whether the data assets have been certified for use as part of a governance process. I can see that one of my related business terms to the data asset used in this metric calculation has not been certified. So looking back at the metric, I can scroll down and I can see it's this co contact email address data asset that is currently in a draft state. Looking at the score criteria for my customer contact email address, I can see that two governance actions are needed. Number one, the asset needs to be certified for use. And number two, a data quality check needs to be run, ensuring the data is trustworthy and correct. So first, I can certify the data asset by triggering an automated certification workflow that gets consensus and approval from my stakeholders for this particular asset. And once the asset is certified, an automated data quality check can be run where we can see the data quality results. With Data360 having activated both the certification and data quality check needed to ensure the data is trustworthy, I can now see my data asset score sits at 100%. And the trust score for the metric has also been updated, letting my business users know this metric can provide reliable insights for our new marketing campaign. In closing, companies have more data now than ever, and it's increasingly more challenging for data governance teams to get a clear understanding of the data and metadata that can have an impact on the business. Data360 delivers on the data governance use case by making it easy to understand the critical data and metadata that drive business outcomes, activating governance operations, and giving insight into the data that truly matters.